Hello folks, uh, I'm going to make a YouTube video tutorial for ArcGIS uh, to show some of uh, the methods that we talked about uh, in last few days. So uh, we want to do spatial interpolation methods. I will show you a point density map how to make a point density and if time permits i will show the other methods like trend surface idw krieging cut and fail but most likely i'll have to make separate videos for each of those so um, before we can do that let me show you which data i want to use so here uh, is uh, i have an excel file with all the uh, wells in pennsylvania all sort of wells, abundant wells, active wells, plugged wells, uh, all the wells. So I made a separate uh, Excel file using only the active oil and gas uh, wells in Pennsylvania, meaning I removed all the plugged wells, abundant wells. So these are the active wells. Even those, by the way, these are horizontal wells and vertical wells. So some of them are uh, pre-Marcellus uh, era, you know, some of these uh, gas and oil wells. So I uh, even uh, all of these wells together, there are about, I believe about 11,000 uh, wells in Pennsylvania. So we want to show those, uh, their location, longitude, latitude on, uh, on a GIS map. So, and then we'll go from there. So to do that, let's uh, activate a GIS layer. So what, uh, what we have here, is a uh, uh, is a uh, uh, GIS layer showing just the counties in Pennsylvania, as you can see. And also, I have added a census data uh, in case we decide to uh, uh, use the census data. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, so, uh, and here is my uh, active wells uh, Excel file in CSV format. So what I want to do, I want to add this to my map. So display XY data, we have done that many times before. So you guys know that this uh, X field is really longitude and Y field is latitude and since we have surface elevation data as you can see for each of the wells so i'll use it as my z field so here is the geographic coordinate 1983 that i've assigned to this data already to save time because these are just a longitude and latitude data so uh, i will uh, say okay and hopefully they will get added as an event theme on this map so here they are they are just event as you know so i have to convert those uh, events uh, into a shape file so i uh, want to do that uh, i want to save it uh, in um, on my desktop and i will just call this maybe active oils uh, in pennsylvania and i want to convert it into a shape file and also i want to add this of course uh, on my map and now i can actually remove my uh, event uh, theme from here and also the original uh, <coughs> csv file uh, so here they are uh, however as you notice that uh, not every single county in Pennsylvania have active wells, right? So we want to show only the counties that have uh, any sort of active wells. How do we do that? Uh, we have done that uh, in the class before. So uh, what I want to do, I want to run a uh, select by location. What I want to select, I want to select the counties here the counties uh, in Pennsylvania uh, that uh, uh, that uh, that have uh, uh, wells in them. So the counties that have active wells. So uh, we will 
do the active oils and uh, intersect or it could be uh, r r within the uh, within the uh, completely within the source layer so i think intersect will work just as well so i'll show which counties have uh, so you can see there are several counties that have uh, some sort of an active oil not all the counties in pennsylvania so i have uh, exported those counties that have active oils as a separate layer and uh, to save time i just showed you the process i could just right click on counties meaning and uh, export the selected counties as a separate layer uh, so which i have already done and these are this this map here as you can see i already created that uh, separate map uh, so i will be using this uh, active county maps as a uh, as a mask when i do the density analysis so here are the counties that have active oils both marcellus and non marcellus in pennsylvania so now we need to use a toolbox so here is uh, under the special analyst tools there is a density tools uh, density and uh, there are several ways you can do that we'll be using simple point density and i want to uh, use the input point feature is obviously my active oils and i'll be using them to create a uh, density map so here i want to say when density raster and i want to save it and i want to make sure uh, you guys are also familiar with we have to make sure the workspace and uh, output coordinates the uh, scratch workspace they need to be the uh, same place meaning my working space so here i am just using that uh, folder here gis videos and uh, i select those both and then uh, processing extent since i'm creating a raster file i want to designate my uh, extent for my uh, gis uh, point density uh, processing so uh, uh, here uh, they are so process density is going to be uh, my uh, active uh, counties with uh, active uh, shape file and then raster analysis we need to use a mask in the extent of this is the same one like the count is active uh, and we want to say uh, yes and here these are the radius by the way this uh, is just a map coordinate meaning in radius in degrees uh, it's better if you uh, project all of your uh, maps into a projected coordinate system such as uh, state plan coordinate or utm that works better i hope that it works so let's give it a go and see what happens hopefully it will create a density map and which it did and you cannot see that if we remove those active oils uh, then you should be able to see uh, the uh, heat map so here it is uh, the heat map showing where we have more uh, marcella shell density so i want to uh, use a better uh, symbology for this so that you can see things better so if we do maybe a combination of red and green <clears throat> red being more uh, wells per square mile in certain counties uh, it probably will be uh, better so um, that we can see those uh, things uh, uh, i will move this down here uh, so you can uh, you can see the active counties uh, if i just uh, label the name of the counties you can see which counties 
we have more active uh, or sellers uh, or other active oils so those would be our susquehanna county tioga bradford lycoming northern part of lycoming we are here and then southwestern corner of pennsylvania washington and green county so now you can visualize where you have tremendous amount of uh, drilling activities going on in pennsylvania uh, that's it for this video hope you enjoyed i will come back with some other videos